you so much for joining us. Essentially, could you give us your first reaction to the arrest of Partha Chatterjee? No, it's a normal course. And uh, yesterday night in the Bengali media, I have uh, forecasted that uh, the arrest of the Partha Chatterjee, Chatterjee is just a matter of time because the kind of proofs those are coming out it's really uh, first time we are seeing uh, this kind of things in the Bengal. Uh, we are habituated to see this kind of things in the other parts of the country. But literally, it is shameful for the people of the Bengal because uh, it is our tradition that we always kept our education and education department and as well as the, the people, those are associated with the education in uh, high uh, dignity. But uh, it is really shameful for the not only for the uh, people who are related to the politics, all the people for the Bengal, that it is really shameful. Our ex-education minister now has been arrested by the ED. Absolutely. Now, apart from this, his aide, Arpita Mukherjee, has also been detained. It's likely that we may possibly see her arrest as well. What is your opinion on how this is going to impact the political dynamic in the state? Yes, even uh, this Arpita Mukherjee or Banerjee, I don't know the, exactly the name, uh, Mukherjee, Arpita Mukherjee, uh, she has been detained uh, and uh, around 21 crore rupees along with uh, golden jewellery worth of 50 lakhs have been uh, acquired by ED from her house. And uh, it is also uh, claimed by the ED that it has relation with the, the scams, HST scam. And not only that, it is not the ending. Uh, what we are uh, getting from the media, update from the media, that Mona Lisa, someone uh, named as Mona Lisa, uh, she also uh, has the several uh, flats in the Vishwarati and Shantini Ketan. And it is uh, quite shameful for the people of the West Bengal. And, uh, and it is a nexus. It, you know, it is an organized crime. Not only the Partho Chatterjee is involved, whole Trinamool Congress, starting and beginning from the district level to the topmost level of the Trinamool Congress organization, everybody is related with this scam. Absolutely. Now, essentially, the TMC is also distancing themselves from this entire matter. What's your take on that? Pardon? The TMC is distancing themselves from this entire situation that's developing. What is your take so on this that? Is the, this, is the, this is the style of the TMC. Even Kunal Ghosh, who is uh, the spokesperson of the TMC, when he was arrested, also uh, TMC denied himself, uh, denied them and separated them from the Kunal Ghosh. So that is the tradition of the teams, you know, but it is not possible for them because we know what is the, uh, what is the size of this scam. The final list that was uh, actually, that was drafted in Navanno itself. We have that input. Even we believe that one day CBI or ED, maybe those are doing the, uh, doing the investigation, they will bring, uh, they will bring out this, uh, this kind of information one day, this kind of proof that the final list was approved by the topmost leadership of the TMC. They cannot dissociate themselves from this corruption. Everybody in TMC is related in this corruption because we, their MLAs, their MPs, they send the this list in their pad, official pad, with their sign and seal. Now, this is a question that I had posed to another member of your party, Agnimitra Paul, but I also wanted to pose this question to you. The TMC has essentially alleged that this entire situation is due to harassment conducted by your party and that your party is misusing investigative agencies. What do you have to say in response to that allegation? So, this is the excuse to escape from this corruption. Ask them, na, who, who, who planted this uh, 21 crore rupees? in uh, this Arpita's house, who planted? I, myself, Modiji, or ED officers, who planted this money? From where is this money came? Why this Mona Lisa madam uh, is uh, the owner of 10 flats? Ask them why Mona Lisa madam uh, has been uh, promoted from assistant professor to associate professor within the tenure of four years. Is it possible? Is it not possible according to the UGC rules and guidelines? So everybody in TMC is related in this corruption. They cannot dissociate themselves. And there is no justification uh, regarding their logic. There is no logic in uh, their claim that we are harassing them. All right, Shakantamu Jumda, thank you so much for joining us and giving us your take on these latest developments. Let's